Hello everybody, here it is, new iPhone, yay, new iPhone 8 in the house, ah. So every year, Apple release a new update to the iPhone. This year they've done, well, two, well, one, and another one is coming soon. And the iPhone 8 is here, here it is, in my hands. Actually, I have several. There's an iPhone 8 Plus, an iPhone 8, another iPhone 8 Plus. Let's see what's in the box. <laughs> So it's the new iPhone 8 unboxing and if you're new, um, thank you for joining. Welcome to my channel. I do reviews and talk about transgender stuff and all sorts. Please um, subscribe below if you're new. Click that little alarm bell so you get all the updates. And now we're going to just dive straight in and open one of these puppies. What should we go with? Black? Oh, let's go with the white one first. So I'm going to switch to the overhead camera right there and um, let's move to the unboxing. So I'm a little bit anal about um, unboxing these things. Oh, actually, they've changed stuff. It's now got a piece of Terry cellophane right here. Normally I would cut this off with a knife, but now, ah, oh, look, they've built it in. They've got built-in cellophane. That's really nice. usual designed by Apple in California and here it is oh, look at that it's so shiny and white oh, that is beautiful oh, it's coming on Earbuds, lightning charger, mains charger. This is all the usual stuff if you're used to um, iPhones before. If you're not, this is what you get in the box. Charging cable, charger, earphones. And then in here we have, there's usually a little SIM tool. Some Apple stickers, which everybody needs. Just stick on your Androids, of course. Yeah. A little welcome pack. And there's the, the SIM tool to open up the uh, open up the SIM tray. If you compare this to the iPhone 7, and let's put these side by side, you can see that they're very, very, very similar. The only difference you've got a glass back on the new one, but it's it's basically the same form factor as the as the previous 7. There's not a lot changed, if I'm honest. Um, but I'll go through some of the new features that you have in the 8 and then we'll get on to testing it out. Just for reference, by the way, that's an Apple TV 4K with HDR and that's a wireless charger, which I'll um, we'll set that up in a moment, in fact. And I'll do that first. Let's show you what you get with the wireless charging. This isn't at all fiddly to open. This is quite nice, actually. Plugs into the mains. Would have been nice if it was USB, I guess, but hey, kind of everything. Pop that down there, pop the phone on. So that's the charge. How cool is that? Take it off, stops charging, put it on, starts charging. I wonder if it'll work with um, well, my iPhone 6 because I have um, a charging plate in the car. I actually have one of these uh, inductive chargers on the back of my iPhone 6. Let's see if that works. Well, you know, yes it does. So that's pretty good. These um, these chargers seem fairly universal. They work with a range of products. So I often get asked why I use an iPhone and why have I used one for so long? And why don't I use an Android or something else? Um, and to be honest with you, because I want to use the best phone in the world and because, steady on now, don't, don't hate. And because <laughs> whenever I use Android phones, and I have Android phones, they're a bit, a bit 
gimmicky. Okay, okay. White flag. Sorry, sorry, Android fans. I like Androids too. Chill, chill, guys. Whew. God, man, you guys trigger easy. Okay, they're not toys. Uh, Android phones technically are wonderful. Okay? I like them. And if you like them, that's great too. But the consistency is a real problem with them. They, they introduce a feature, then it's gone in the next version, then it comes back differently in another phone. All the range is a mess. They're all over the place. The hardware is phenomenal. The problem is the software with Android. iPhones, in many ways, are technically not as advanced as Androids. But here's the thing. When Apple put a feature in the iPhone, it just works. Unlocking it is as easy as looking at it. Usually. And swiping up. Um, you can use it day to day. It'll be a feature that isn't a gimmick. It's not something that they've just put on to tick boxes. It'll just work. The number of Android things I've had, and I've looked at the feature, and I think, oh, this is this new cool thing. And you can't really use it very well. It's unreliable, and then it's gone in the next phone, so you, like, you spend all this time investing in learning how to use a thing, and then it's gone again. Apple don't do that. They will enhance and enhance and enhance, and it's quite rare for Apple features to go away. Well, the 10 is a little bit odd, because they've got the new home button set up. A bit strange, you're not sure if that's going to work with your face. And this time they dropped 32-bit apps, but that's fine. You need to sometimes get rid of the old, you know, to make progress. That's fine. But not every year. Make it, <laughs> you know? You need some consistency, and Apple do that, and their core features, they work so well. And that little walled garden that they have means that everything is secure and nobody's going to hack you so easily. Okay, so what's new in the iPhone 8? Well, you have the wireless charging that we've already seen. There's a, there's a glass front and back now. They look very similar to the 7, if I'm honest. It's basically the same form factor. You do have improved speakers, but you don't have an OLED screen, that's coming for the 10. The memory size, they've dropped the mid-range ones, you know, you've only got 64 gigs or 256, there's no 128 anymore. The 8 standard edition is a 12 megapixel camera, the Plus has a dual camera, it has a f2.8 zoom lens, which you don't have on the standard 8. And that, I'll be honest, I've taken some incredible photos with the, the Plus, absolutely incredible. The camera on the Plus is amazing. It's slightly better, but not a massive upgrade. That's kind of it, I'll be honest with you. The 8 is really a refinement, and it's, look, it's a nice phone. If you've got a 7, it's an upgrade, but it's quite a minor one. Makes a lot more sense if you've got a 6S. From a 6S, the 8 is a big deal. From a 7, you're not going to see much difference. iOS 11 is a big deal, but you get that on both phones anyway. So I don't know if the 8 is really worth going for. The 10, and that's a big deal, that's out next month. That's a huge, huge new phone. That's going to be awesome. The, the 8 to the 7, it's a lovely phone. What can I say? But is it a must-have? Not if you've got a 7, I'll be honest with you. If you've got an Android, hard to say. If you've got a ton of Android apps, you're going to have to rebuy those. So consider that. So you're kind of starting over in, in the ecosystem. So it depends how much of your your workflow, how much, of, how much of your life is in those phones already. If you don't use it that much for apps, then yeah, the iPhone's gonna be a nice upgrade for you. Currently, the iPhone 8 is the best phone on the market. And here's the big feature, the new um, A11 processor. These things are so fast. They're way faster than anything else out there. And that's, uh, that's a big deal. Everything feels quick and snappy and responsive, so. You know, it, it, some, of the bigger, some of the big Android flagships also feel good, but even they don't feel as fast as these do. They're absolutely incredible. One thing that you get with Apple that you don't get with anybody else, hands down, killer feature, resale value. My last phone was just worth £500 to trade in. You know, an, an Android of the same age would have lost, gosh, it would be worth pennies by now a year on. Apple equipment holds its value very well. And this is why I've got iPhone 8s, and I'll be getting the 10 shortly as well. It's because in a year I can sell them and get over half my money back. So that way, upgrading every year, it's quite sensible because you just get a new phone, a brand new phone all the time, minty fresh, and it doesn't actually cost you that much as long as you keep upgrading your existing one, as long as you keep trading it in or selling it on eBay. And if you noticed here, I just took a lot of care unboxing them. I will never use these headphones or this charging cable. I bought other long ones, which I use. These stay in the box. So when I come to sell these, 
Hopefully it'll go back in the cellophane, wrapped perfectly, cleaned, spotless. It'll be nearly as good as buying a brand new phone. I really take care of them. I always keep them in a case. They're very well protected. So that is my unboxing and iPhone 8 kind of mini review. Hope you found that interesting and useful. Please leave your comments below. Have you got a new iPhone? What do you think? Are you going to try and kill me because I'm Android? Because you're an Android fan? Please don't try and kill me. Don't be so angry. And there you go. Don't forget to subscribe, like, it's all good. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah.